You might be in a good place, an okay place, or a bad place, maybe even an ugly place. In this video, we're analyzing this idea behind time, energy, and money, and how we can invest those things into the decisions we make so that we can get moving in the right direction. Roll it! Welcome back to another video. My name is Nikos Rentas. This is MentorsApproach.com, where we strive to make a video each and every week to get you thinking and moving in the right direction. So hit subscribe. Now in this video, we're analyzing the whole idea of time, energy, and money, and how it really works as an investment into the decisions we make so we can move from a place of where we are to where we want to be. This is a whole series, and we were going to be looking at this whole series in perspective of good, okay, in the bad place, the ugly place, and how do we really move and shift in the right direction. So this video is more of the explanation behind how time, energy, and money can be treated as an investment into the decisions we make, a more clear example. Now, we have a video from before that we explained a little bit of it. In this video, we wanted to clarify a few things and really put it in, into a, a really deep understanding so that we can move forward to the next videos. So how does this all work? Let's look at this idea of investing versus wasting. See, a lot of the times people will say wasting, and I still say it. We all say it. We're wasting time. We're wasting our energy with this. We're, we're wasting our money on this. And the question becomes, well, you know, how does that help us? It puts a negative connotation to everything, of course, but it doesn't really help us understand what we're doing wrong or what we're doing right in the decisions we're making. So if you're in a good place, you're probably doing most of the things in your life in a good way. The decisions are good. They're, they're, they're positive, net positive, and you're moving in a net positive direction. So in your business, you might be making the right decisions in your, in your career, you know, and maybe your relationships aren't, or your relationships are going well, but your business isn't going good. So there's always ups and downs in everything. And as you move from good to okay to a bad place, well, what happens? Well, you have more and more scenarios where decisions are making the sense they need to be making so that you can move into that good spot and you just keep on going into a negative spiral. And this is the direction we're moving in. And we need to change that direction to be more positive. So this is why we can look at this idea of time, energy, and money and say to ourselves, let's treat it as an investment. We're now gauging what it means. We're gauging our value. We're understanding our value. We're saying to ourselves, I know what I'm worth. And now I'm going to put a value on these things. This is where people start to understand when to say yes and when to say no. Saying no is one of the most powerful things you can do to get moving in the right direction. Saying no to yourself first and then to other people is the, the, the critical one. Those were my knees. It's cracked. And, and here, here's the idea, it becomes, well, I'm looking at people who are in a good spot right now with everything that's happening, and their decisions are really moving forward in the right directions, and one thing that's common with their decisions is they know when to say no. And as we move down the negative spiral to a bad place, well, they're not saying no enough. They're saying yes, and then they end up swimming in mud. I've been there. I've been there. That swimming in the mud emotion, that feeling you get, that's just horrible. So let's look at this and ask ourselves, you know, what is actually occurring in each aspect of time, energy, and money? In time, we're investing time. It's our time. We're never going to get that back. It's our most, most valuable resource we can have. And here we are wasting it. It's time. As I get older, I'm realizing how much time I have left. You know, and that, that idea becomes it's less and less and less, quicker and quicker. Where when I was young, I was Superman. Now I'm not. And I'm saying to myself, what do I need to do? What achievements do I need to make? What do I actually want with my life? And then what decisions do I need to make? I need to start investing my time. I don't have a lot of time. I don't have time for everybody. I don't have time for everything I'm doing. I have to start saying no, and i got to be very, very specific on what I'm going to say no and what I'm going to say yes to. Now, how do we say this, and how does it work? Well, I'm looking at it and I'm saying to myself, I'm going to say no to the things that don't bring a positive return on investment on that time. I'm going to look at it and say to myself, it could be tangible or it could be non-tangible. Most likely, it's going to turn into something that is productive for my future. But I'm going to know that if I move forward and say yes to something, it's taking away that time from something else. So now i got to really be specific of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And if I say no to it, I need to move that time to something else and be productive on it. 
So we're investing our time and no matter what, a net positive has to come out of that in order for us to feel positive, which brings us into energy. And when we're saying energy, I know people are going to their mindset of the wishy-washy stuff of that, you know, being positive all the time. And that, that stuff is great and not to believe it. But I mean, let's look at the reality of positive, negative energy. When you are positive, you get more stuff done. When you're negative, you don't. We want to maintain that net positive, that emotion, that feeling. Let me give you an example. If I am going to be going out for dinner with a friend and I want to make sure that when I go out for dinner, I leave that dinner positive, feeling good, full of energy. And so if I'm going somewhere, I already know that I'm not going to, like I'm just doing because they asked me to and I feel bad for them, you know, because they're like, hey, can we just go for dinner? And you're like, oh, I can't say no. I've said no five times. I know, I know I'm going to leave that and I'm going to feel so, so drained that I won't be able to do my videos. And you can't do videos when you're drained. See, so if I go somewhere though and I want to be there, I want to have dinner, I want to have fun, I want to engage and be, you know, really, like I know it's going to be a good time, then I'm going to leave it all net positive and I'm going to go do a whole bunch of stuff. See, the idea is very simple here. Our energy has to, has to, make a continual run for positiveness that we're leaving in you know a, a trail of positive wherever we go and we can only do that by saying yes or no two things so if it's not lining up if i'm not feeling good about something then i'm not going to jump into it no matter if i have time for it or not i'm going to say no and go do something that i know i'm going to feel more positive about at that moment i made i've made a lot of mistakes where i didn't follow this advice and you know, it was, it was a rough time. I would make the wrong decision because in my head, I was like, maybe it will be positive. Maybe that person's changed and they're not negative Nelly anymore. Maybe, maybe I'll feel good after playing that video game for five hours. Get my drift? We need to analyze all the things that we're doing and ask ourselves, where's our positive energy or negative energy coming from, from the things that we're doing? And what is the return on investment? Is it net positive or net negative? And how does that really fit the narrative? Lastly, it's money and how we're investing money. See, money is interesting because we're investing our money in everything we do. So if I go for that dinner with that person, I'm spending 50 bucks. You know, okay, so I spent 50 bucks. Now, what was the return on investment? Was it going to be a tangible at any one point? No. Okay, it was going to be a net positive on energy. That's it. Or negative energy coming back and me not doing anything after. So I spent 50 bucks for what? For what happiness? Which is going to be the, the, the idea here for, or the theme working into this. See, I could look at that dinner and say, maybe, just maybe, me spending 50 bucks will prove something positive down the road. Am I investing that time right now for that future? And what's that future worth? It's a return on investment. At the same time, money can be something that's tangible immediately or tangible future-wise. So I can go with a colleague and spend 50 bucks on a dinner. I know I'm not going to enjoy it, but whatever, I got to do it so that we can maintain a relationship that I know future-wise I will have some kind of monetary gain. Or it could be a monetary gain that I know is going to come right away. See, we're looking at investment in terms of several aspects of it, and this is all based on our value. And our value really dictates what is right for us. Nobody can tell you what's right for you, except for you. See, my value changes in accordance to how I see different things. And when I look at it from a perspective of money, sometimes, yes, I'm going to go have that dinner that I know I'm going to regret because I need to do that for future and I'll spend that money, and I'll spend my time, and I will spend, spend that energy. And notice how, notice how that whole outcome becomes spend because my value changed a little bit on one thing and it wasn't aligned. See, if it was aligned, then it would be all, I'm going to go invest that time for the future. And the question becomes yes or no. And what this does is allows us to gauge our happiness level, our mindset level. Where is it? It allows us to really put a perspective into place. Because now when I go on that dinner and after I'm feeling like crap and I'm going, why did I do that? I, I, I look at everything and I say, well, the value of this was outweighing everything else and that's why I did it. 
And now I'm feeling crappy because I went against my value-based system on these two things on time and energy. So now I know next time maybe I shouldn't do it. Or maybe I need to do it and I understand why I did it. So now I can move on. I'm not going to feel like, you know, beating myself up for doing that. It's making logical understanding of what we're doing, when we're doing, how we're doing it, so that we can do net positive moves on these decisions continually. And this will help us move in the right direction. My goal with these videos in the series is to make a valuable contribution to your mindset thought process so you can understand that happiness is the most critical aspect in everything we do. And it's happiness is a collection of these decisions being in a net positive. And this is all based on your value. And if your value-based system isn't there yet, this is what we're going to develop. We need to grow this. So if you're in a good place, you're in an okay place, you're in a bad place, ugly place, you'll, you'll realize that, hey, it's everything. It's not just your finances. It's not just the money. It's not just your happiness with your significant other, your job, your career, this, that. It's everything. It's that idea that we are going to be able to decide, hey, I'm going to spend an hour playing a video game because it's valuable to me. I'm not going to spend five because it's not valuable. You're going to be able to make decisions a lot quicker, a lot better, and that way you can start seeing progression. And this is what we all need right now, progression. Time, energy, and money. How are you investing it? If you're still in that wasting time area, how do we change that? And yes, sometimes you will say waste instead of investing, but that is a process. I still do it. Because our mindset goes into the negative realm. Don't stress it. Keep moving forward. Ask yourself, step one, what are the things I'm doing well? What are putting me in that good spot for those things? And then what are the negative ones, what are things that are not going good? Because remember, no matter what area you're in, you're going to be sitting there going, well, you know, my career is good, but my relationship isn't good. You know, and you're going to be wondering, what do I do? It's not all going to be sunshine and roses. And maybe in your bad place or, you know, a, a really ugly place and everything is just not working out. Your career, your, your job, money, the finances, you know, the relationships, nothing's working. And it's like, okay, what's the priority to tackle? And you're going to make these lists and you're going to say, hey, where am I actually investing my time, energy, and money? Where am I getting a return? What do I need to do better there? Or what do I just need to keep doing so I can automate those? Then I'm going to look at the other list of all the things that aren't going my direction and start moving one at a time, one at a time. And yes, one at a time will get you to where you need to be. As you start looking at this, because eagle eye view comes into play and we start looking at this, you know, this big look of where we're going, we start to see that everything moves and it'll help us make these decisions better. It'll help you move in that direction a lot faster. In this video, we'll be talking about the being in a good spot. And what if some things aren't going well? How to get to a better spot? Where this video is all about that idea behind you guessed it. I'm in an okay place. I need to get to the good place. My name is Nikos Retas. This is MentorSupports.com. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. And of course, leave a comment below because who knows? Somebody might be watching this. They might read your comment. They might relate. It might help change our life.